he has his uh, uh, ms from itc netherland and he did his phd from uh, uh, forest research institute of uh, uh, which is in dehradun uh, on uh, vegetation dynamics in forest particularly and he will deliver his lecture on time series data uh, particularly in vegetation dynamics so how uh, time series data uh, are useful in many of uh, the areas that you will be knowing and uh, <coughs> now i hand over session to dr c jagnathan sir and thank you jagnathan sir for accepting invitation and delivering this lecture again thank you sir. thank you thank you dr rathor very good morning everyone and uh, yeah there is a slight shift tomorrow i was supposed to take no issue so it will be my pleasure so uh, let me share my screen can you see my screen yes sir can you see my full screen yes, yes sir, sir. It is okay. visible, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. So, very good morning, everyone. I will be talking about how the remote sensing satellite can help in forestry application. Specific focus on the time series satellite data, because everybody in India, most of the academic people, especially in the geography, geology, and then in the remote sensing domain, people would have seen some satellite data. They would have worked on some satellite data. And we all know that forest is an important uh, entity on the surface of the earth. This is the distribution of forest different in different region. So if you see overall in the earth surface, there are 4.06 billion hectare of forests, right? There are different types of forests. They are grouped into major in the region as per tropical forest or the boreal forest or the temperate forest or the subtropical forest. So we know that tropic is in the near the equator, 23.5 above and below. So tropical forest consists of nearly 45 percentage of the global forest and the major dominant forestal region in tropics are in Amazon as well as in Congo, in Central Africa and in Brazil. Also in Indonesia, the eastern part of Indonesia, we can see some of the tropics.